Mandoka Beach on Costa Rica's Atlantic coast has been a nesting ground for leatherback turtles for thousands of years. These United Nations volunteers and members of the Wide Cast organization want things to remain that way. During the day, they build models from the sand. At night, they go on patrol. We only arrived on Monday, so a few days ago. During the very first night, we found two nests and arrested an egg thief. We also dug out eggs. It wasn't frustrating at all. The models are used to show how the turtles lay their eggs. The animals, which are up to 1 meter 80 in size, are threatened with extinction because poachers raid their nests. The volunteers track down the nests and protect the eggs from the poachers. Many people in Costa Rica regard turtles' eggs as an aphrodisiac. For us, the only purpose these eggs have is that they will hatch young turtles. Some rare species come here, for example, the leatherback turtles. They are among the largest and are very hard to find. The volunteers on night patrol are accompanied by the police because the poachers can become violent if caught. The group spends hours walking along the beach in search of nests. The aim is to scare off poachers. But tonight the nests are already empty. The poachers got there first. The eggs from this nest were dug out and stolen. If we catch poachers with eggs, we can arrest them and hand them over to the public prosecutor. But in many cases there's nothing we can do, and we can't put the poachers behind bars. The disappointment is huge. The thieves are hard to stop, but the volunteers are not easily deterred. If things continue this way, in 10 years time, there won't be any turtles left. That is why their work continues the next day. The eggs have to be buried deep down to safeguard them. That takes practice. The volunteers are here to guard the nests during the entire breeding season. And there are nights when their hard work pays off. In 2010 alone, several thousand leatherback turtles were successfully hatched on this beach alone.